All right, today I'm gonna give you guys a detailed look at this Ben Riley Spider-Man, and uh, there's the box. Really nice packaging. I do like the packaging a lot. Uh, yeah, so let's get into it. On the back of the box, here's a little info, and other figures are available. I picked up the Symbiote Spider-Man, Hobgoblin, and Shocker, and of course the Spider-Man. Alright then, here's the figure itself, and uh, this is the the newest body that um, Spider-Man's using. And uh, we have a bunch of hands. I'm very glad they give us all the hands needed for Spider-Man. A uh, pair of fists as well, and there's the Spider-Man himself. And here's the back side of Spider-Man. Looking at this makes me <clears throat> makes me laugh. Because um, nine years ago I made the same modification to my Spider-Man. My uh, Marvel Select Amazing Spider-Man figure. And uh, now they're, they're using it. So that's kind of neat. Um, so as far as the figure itself and uh, yeah it's quite nice uh, head movement quite a lot look at that you look up quite a bit and uh, look down and uh, head tilt really good and then butterfly joint really nice and then uh, swing out the arms can swing up into about that much I think that's it and then bicep and does rotate and then there's elbow joint Double jointed elbows. I'm surprised they didn't uh, give us the uh, pinless uh, joints for Spider Man. And then uh, there's a hinge joint around the wrist. It can move in and out like that. And then as for the torso, love this uh, ball jointed chest. And then love this hinge joint around the abdomen, which allows him. Uh, to do quite a lot more poses now, uh, a lot more dynamic poses, and then ball jointed legs, and uh, I believe these are lowering legs too. It could be lowered a little bit, and then thigh rotation, double jointed knees. But look at that, this peg is red. I know it's red on this side, so they decided to use red on this side. Um, yeah. Again, wish they gone with a pinless. That would have been nice. But I think if they do pinless, he wouldn't be able to bend this far. And then the hinge around the ankle and no toes articulation. So yeah. So as far as Spider Man, he could definitely do some really, really fantastic dynamic poses. No, he wouldn't do that. Probably do this. Probably do something like this. If he's jumping, so probably do something like this. Pretty nice. And then if he swing around, give him this. These type of poses. So wait. Get this arm back down. This arm would be back there, actually. Oh, God. What? No, actually, I would need the other, the other arm, uh, the other hand, the web shooting hand, so we could do something like this. And let's see if he could bend his elbow, his knees. Oh, and then there's also a swivel joint around here, top of the boots. So, yeah. Uh, but either way, I mean, there's a lot of possibility as far as poses for the Spider Man. Do kneeling pose. without any issues whatsoever and you can look up quite nicely landing pose there really good landing pose yeah so yeah the spider-man is great uh, 
this body's great actually, not the Spider-Man. Spider-Man, it's okay. Uh, I don't like my traditional Spider-Man, but this is also a cool one to have. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, so overall, well, not, a whole, not a whole lot more to say about the Spider-Man. I mean, it's a great figure. Uh, definitely worth getting if you're a Spider-Man fan. This is a fantastic body for Spider-Man. And uh, yeah, not a whole lot more to say. And there you go. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.